Welcome to Board Prep Cardiology Batch 2. Today I will share 20 questions with you. I recommend that you pause the video after each question and provide the answer. In doing so, you are evaluating how much you really know. Let's begin. Apart from the heart, which organ failure would result in falsely elevated troponin? The kidneys. Which three medications have been shown to reduce mortality in patients with acute myocardial infarction? Aspirin, beta blockers, and ACE inhibitors. How should a post-MI patient with sustained tachycardia and hypertension be treated? Synchronized cardioversion. How do you define an hemodynamically unstable patient? It is a cardiac patient with chest pain, shortness of breath, hypotension, and confusion. What is the treatment of choice for a cardiac patient who is hemodynamically unstable? Synchronized cardioversion. Amiodarone is the drug of choice to treat some cardiac arrhythmias. What are the pulmonary and thyroid complications? It causes pulmonary fibrosis and acts like thyroxine. How would you treat a patient with atrial fibrillation, chest pain, and shortness of breath? Synchronized cardioversion. What is the treatment of choice for ventricular fibrillation? Asynchronized cardioversion. A 50-year-old female complains of rapid heart rate. The ECG shows supraventricular tachycardia with narrow complexes. How would you treat her? Adenosine, start with 6 mg. If that doesn't work, give 12 mg. And if that doesn't work, give another 12 mg. How would you treat an asymptomatic post-MI patient with sinus bradycardia? Observation. How would you treat a post-MI patient with sinus bradycardia, tiredness, fatigue, and has trouble remembering? Atropine, 1 mg IV push. The ECG shows a fixed increase of 0.21 seconds in the PR interval. How would you treat this patient? Observation. The ECG shows a progressive increase greater than 0 0.20 seconds in the PR interval without a drop QRS complex. How would you treat this patient? Observation. The ECG shows normal PR intervals with a sudden dropped QRS complex. What is the diagnosis and how would you treat this patient? Second degree block, Morbid's type 2. The patient needs a pacemaker. A patient with post-MI mitral regurgitation is most likely to have which condition? Papillary muscle rupture. How would you treat a patient with post-MI pericarditis? Aspirin. How would you treat a patient with pericarditis without previous MI? NSAIDs, followed by colchicine as the second line drug. Which physical examination finding is pathognomonic for pericarditis? Friction rub. Pathologic S3, which is ventricular gallop, is due to rapid filling into a stiff ventricle. S3 is a specific sign for which condition? Congestive heart failure. It is heard best with the bell of the stethoscope. In which group of people is S3 normal? Children and athletes. Well, thanks for watching. Remember, diligence leads to competence. Please don't forget to like, share, 
and subscribe. I wish you well. Good night.